Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, DICE is asking for our feedback yet again. And of course, we all know from our many years in the Battlefield community that whenever they ask us for feedback, they're gonna listen to us. So let's get right into it, guys. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And what's the first question? How likely is it that you would recommend Battlefield 2042 to a friend or colleague? I'm gonna have to go with a fat zero, ladies and gentlemen, zero percent chance. I recommend my friend or colleague to play this game. Maybe my enemy to make them suffer. What changes would the Battlefield team have to make for you to give it a higher rating? Completely redesign the entire game from the, the ground up. I am not kidding. I'm, I'm actually not kidding. I'm serious. They would have to completely change everything about the game. Aside from a few things. I went ahead and did this um, in advance, so we're not wasting our time. Basically, I just said, you know, hey, blah, 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 7 out of 10 for all the dev notes and the patch notes and the Battlefield briefing blogs and the podcasts. Uh, for one, for the dev notes and the patch notes, I said, maybe you guys should include every single change so Reddit doesn't have to go searching for every secret change that you made, right? Maybe that could be a good idea, potentially, to fully inform your community on exactly what you're doing with the game. That'd be great. Uh, moving on to the actual important stuff. Oh man, I can't, I can't wait. Core gameplay and balancing. Ooh, you, you didn't include this section in the last survey and I cannot wait to give you guys some solid feedback because let me tell you something right now. The game is in shambles, all right? Balance wise, it really is. Um, on a scale of one to 10, how interested are you in vault weapons receiving attachments from Battlefield 2042? That's easy, 10, it's a 10, 10 out of 10, right? Like do it right now. Which weapon efficiency do you feel needs the most attention? I don't know, actually. Let me see. Oh, engineer. Engineer, this is trash. This is absolute dog shit. Improved accuracy while crouched slash prone? Who cares? The, the, the LMGs kill people from 150 meters anyway. How many players should be in a single squad? Well, that's easy. Four. People are going to say, what? Oh my god, not five. No, not five. You know why? Because 32 is not divisible by 5. See how that works? 4. You got that? <laughs> 4 is the correct answer. What is your reasoning for this choice? I'd anticipate that most people will answer 5 on this question. But that is wrong. 16, 32, 64, and 128 are all not divisible by five. The correct answer is four. There we go. I did my part, ladies and gentlemen. On a scale of one to 10, how would you rate our, spe our, our specialists? One needs the most improvement. Ten doesn't need improvement. Dozer. Dozer's explosive resistance is quite potent. I'm going to say like a four. McKay doesn't need improvement. Sundance, a nine doesn't really need improvement. Zane needs improvement. Needs improvement and then he needs to be nerfed. So I'm putting him four. Boris. Uh, five? Just not that good, ladies and gentlemen. Crawford. I think Crawford's in a decent space now. Liss. Nerf this kid. Nerf Liss. Holy shit. Liss is fundamentally overpowered. Unlimited ammo. 475 meter range TV missile. If you don't understand why that's overpowered, I'm sorry. You're not good at video games. Nerf Liss. Do it now. Angel. I don't know, he's like seven. Falk doesn't need to be improved. She's probably the best specialist in the entire game right now. Irish doesn't need to be improved. Insane. Blasco, uh, like a six or seven, probably, like seven. Pike. She, Pike just kind of gets overshadowed by other characters, right? Like, why would you play Pike when you play, when you play McKay or Falk or Irish or, yeah, Casper? 
Um, Casper, I think, is in a great place now. I know I skipped over two. Don't, I'm not, don't worry. I'm not going to forget. Casper's in a great place. I don't think he needs improvement. I think he's right where he should be. His drone is incredibly potent against uh, APS, Claymores, any sort of explosives, uh, even vehicle disables. I think he's pretty underrated. Um, Rao does not need to be... Eh, it needs to be nerfed, actually. Uh, nerf Rao, fundamentally broken, can zero effort completely disable vehicles from across the map. Uh, just stupid as fuck. Shouldn't be in the game. Pike, I don't know. This is like a five. Why do you feel this way? Not answering that takes too long. Specialist, one specialist. Uh, select one specialist that you feel needs our attention the most. Our attention the most. Probably. Hmm. Probably Dozer. Ah, do, do, well, the explosive do This is a hard question, actually. Hmm. I'll say Dozer for now. I'll say Dozer for now. Why have you selected the specialist? He just isn't that great across the board. He's just not that great. Scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate the following class equipment? 1 needs the most improvement. 10 doesn't need improvement. Med pen does not need improvement. Repair tool does not need improvement. Defibrillator does not need improvement. Actually, no, I, I take it back. Defibrillator is not a 10. There is a fundamental, stupid-ass design fault with the defibrillator. And it's the fact that you can hold the revive, right, for an unlimited amount of time. And you can grief anybody that you're reviving and permanently lock them in that revive animation. For that reason, 5 out of 10. This is why instant revives are the answer. I'm sorry. They're, they're the answer. Whenever you put any sort of revive animation that you can cancel or hold into the game, you are leaving the game open to griefing. Do you understand? Instant revives, there's, there's no griefing. You either get revived or you don't get revived. They can't sit there and cancel it forever. So I would like to see instant revive comes back. And that might be controversial, but let me, let me hit you with this. This game is already chaotic nonsense. Insta revives would really not even change anything, to be honest. It's already pretty quick. Just, just get rid of the griefing, please. Insertion beacon. It's crazy. Don't improve it. Please specify any additional context. Your choices here. Change revives so they are instant. You can grief players with the animation of the defibs, which you can hold for an unlimited amount of time. Thus ruining that player's experience. I think it's pretty fair. Scale of one to ten, uh, a scale of one to ten, how fun do you feel the class equipment are? How fun? How fun? How fun? I've never really thought about this, to be honest. Med pen, how fun is it to use? It's like a one. I mean, you just hit a button, he goes, that's it, right? Like, it's not that fun. Repair tool, I mean, you're just going, <laughs> like, it's not that fun to use either, so that's like a two. Defibrillator, it's more fun than the other one. It's like a six. Insertion beacon, you just place it down and never see it again, so it's like a one. Am I, I mean, am I wrong here? Like, I, I'm, not, I'm not specifying, stop. On a scale of one to 10, how would you rate the following assault class gadgets? C5, doesn't need improvement. IBA armor plate. After the, the changes that are up and coming, I don't think this needs to be changed anymore. It doesn't need improvement. Um, oh, none at all. That's good. That's good. M18 Claymore. None at all. Wait, what? You can only select one none at all? Why? Wait, okay, Our IBA armor plate. Doesn't need any changes. Claymore doesn't need any changes. Smoke launcher doesn't need any changes. SPH, nerf it into the ground. Nerf the SPH and launcher. Delete it from the game. Delete the SPH launcher. I am actually begging you. How do you the following engineer class gadgets? AT mine. I feel like AT mines are never really that effective, you know? I feel like it doesn't need improvement, but it doesn't need to be nerfed, you know? Like... It's one of those things where if you die to AT mines, it's your fault. You know, like, I don't, there's really not much you can do. 
C5 doesn't need improvement. EOD bot doesn't really need improvement. AA and Javelin and Recoilus, I think they need to reduce their velocity. I think the velocity increase was completely unwarranted. And I think they need to um, they need to reduce that back to its uh, original values. Uh, I think the Recoilus is near hit scan now. It's too, it's too easy to hit. Way too easy to hit. Um, yeah. That could be improved. I think the Javelin and the AA are both fine. I don't think these are these are in need of any changes. The Recoilus, though, I think you need to change it. Um, just reduce the velocity a little bit. Don't touch the damage. How would you rate the following support glass, uh, support glass, by the way, support class gadgets? Ammo crate. Doesn't need improvement. Medical crate. Doesn't need improvement. Claymore. No, it's, this is boring. This is actually boring. Recon class gadgets. Da, 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 da. Uh, tracer dart. You could probably improve that. It was probably over nerfed. Proc sensor. Uh, probably nerfed that a little bit. Um, and I haven't, man, not to go too crazy. Tugs. I think, I think this is all fine. That's all fine. Ah, conquest mode. Do you feel there are enough vehicles in conquest? Yes, absolutely. Why do you feel this get? Why do you, why do you feel this way? Well, it's because I just I, I just think there's enough vehicles. Would you like to see more more or less vehicles in conquest? Neither. Keep it the same. Nerf. Transport. Vehicles. Do you actively use in-world civilian vehicles? No. Why do you feel this way? They are death traps. What are your current thoughts about transport aircraft and conquest? Having, I'm not even going to answer that, dude. Like, just, just ask us if you want transport vehicles to be nerfed or not. How do you feel there are enough vehicles within Breakthrough? Do you feel? Yes. Why do you feel this way? Because there's enough. Would you like to see more or less vehicles? Keep it the same. Give defenders... Actually, do you feel there are enough vehicles within Breakthrough? No. Why do you feel this way? The defenders are given unfair vehicle choices relative to the attackers. Make vehicles on both sides equal. Right? So, if... if the attackers get a super hind. The defenders get a super hind or condor, right? Not that hard of a concept. You have defenders the same choice as the vehicles. Do you actively use in-world civilian vehicles? No. Death trap. Death trap. Next. Final thoughts. Please describe Battlefield 2042 in one word. Oh my god. One word? Uh, frustrating. Do you have any final comments that you'd like to share with us? No. Actually, do you have any final comments that you'd like to share with us? Hmm. Please nerf transport vehicle weaponry it is incredibly annoying i think that's pretty fair all right uh that's it for this video guys if you enjoyed the video hit the like button and of course subscribe to the channel i'll link the survey down below so you guys can do your part